Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to link your console account into a full Epic Games account. Whether you're wondering how to fix that error popping up when you try to link it, or if you just have no idea how to link it, I will show you how to do it in this video. Once you've linked it, you can get 2FA and compete in tournaments and gift your friends. Now, let's get started. Also, I have made a video on this topic a while ago, but it wasn't the best and I didn't explain it properly. So this video is going to cover everything. The first step is to open the Epic Games website. You pretty much just have to search up Epic Games on Google and open the home page. The link is also in the description. Now you want to press sign in and choose the console you play on. I play it on Xbox Live, so I'm going to choose this. As you can see, on this computer, I'm already signed into Xbox, so I'm going to show you what screen it will take you to if you are not signed in. This is the screen it will take you to when you're not signed in. You have to put your country, your first and last name, your display name, which is going to be your username, your email address, and your password. Then you have to agree to the terms and services and press continue. Also, remember that you're not linking your account, you're upgrading it. Your account is a nameless or ghost account and you're trying to turn it into a full Epic Games account. Also, with this method, all of your skins will save. When I did this, all of my skins saved and everything transferred from my Xbox to my PC. Make sure to think of this process as upgrading instead of linking. What I mean by upgrade is that you're turning your ghost account into a full Epic Games account. If you upgrade it, then all of your skins will save 100%. I have done this before when I switched from Xbox to PC and all of my skins saved. Quick note, if what I'm doing in this video does not work for you, make sure to email Epic Games Player Support. They will answer your questions and the link is in the description. The upgrading process is pretty easy. All you have to do is follow the steps in the video. But please remember that you're upgrading, not linking. Many people have gotten confused in my previous video by thinking that they're linking instead of upgrading. If you link, you get the error message. So make sure to upgrade. And that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will answer them. In my past video, I've answered almost all of the questions, so I will respond to your question. Bye.